A video posted owner is getting a lot of attention online. In it, he stands in front of a Confederate flag and declares his shop a Muslim free zone. But a Muslim advocacy organization says not only is this offensive, it's illegal. Eight on your side, Shannon Benkin joins us live in Tampa. And Shannon, you have some new information, I understand. Yes, good evening to you, Stacey. This Inverness gun shop owner insists that he has the right to not sell guns to anyone that he fears will use those guns to harm people. But now we have just learned that the Department of Justice is investigating his decision to determine if he's violating civil rights. With millions of views and hundreds of comments, it didn't take long for this controversial Facebook post to go viral. And we're now a Muslim free zone. Andy Hallinan, owner of Florida Gun Supply, calls this video his response to the recent shooting of military personnel in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It starts with him defending the Confederate battle flag and ends with his own battle against Islamic extremists. I will not arm and train those who wish to do harm to my fellow patriots. The video created a firestorm online. Support, anger, sadness. Helen Ann stands behind it. I will not arm or train somebody that believes the Quran the exact way that it's written, somebody that believes that the caliphate, the one world order, and that beheading non-believers is the right thing to do. He admits he can't really enforce this new rule. I'm not going to be asking every person that walks in what their religious background is. That's not my business. Uh, but I do have the right to deny service of firearms or training to anybody that I deem as a threat. The Council on American Islamic Relations came back swinging, calling on the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate the gun shop for civil rights violations. America is built on this idea of, of freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and we sh really shouldn't be turning against each other. And, and that's what, why this video hurt me. I mean, I would be horrified to hear about anybody making a, a Jewish free zone or a black free zone or a white free zone. Now, Hallahan has not violated any civil rights yet, but attorneys tell me that if he does follow through with this Muslim free zone, he will be breaking the law. But keep in mind, it is civil. It's not criminal. So it's unclear what penalties he would face. Stacy. All right, Shannon Bacon live in Tampa tonight. Thank you.